uh, today we are going to talk about acid base balance right and before we really go into detail of that how acid base balance is maintained in our body I will go to the very very basic concepts right the very basic concepts related with acid base balances you must be clear first of all what is hydrogen ion concentration in our body normally in our body extracellular fluid what is the concentration of protons is that right then we have to discuss what is the importance of maintaining a very straight steady concentration of protons or steady concentration of hydrogen ions right with the normal pH and what is the relationship we will also discuss what is the relationship between the hydrogen ion concentration and pH is that right and then we will discuss that what if pH is significantly disturbed what happens to our body why it is so important to maintain the pH steady and what are the mechanisms in our body we defend against the fluctuations in pH so let's start with very basic thing first of all what is the normal hydrogen ion concentration in living healthy human being like you so what is proton concentration or hydrogen ion concentration in extracellular fluid in a normal person yes please who is going to tell me I think he looks too intelligent yes please your face is anyway intelligent even if you don't answer proton concentration look I will say what I want I just want to know what is the proton concentration something like that you know there is something we talk about sodium concentration potassium concentration calcium concentration we talk about these things we have to talk about proton concentration also because little fluctuation in sodium does not kill us but significant fluctuation in proton concentration kills the patient is that right so anyone out of so many good doctors what is the normal concentration of proton in extracellular fluid in a normal person yes please I think you are trying to demoralize me in very beginning of the lecture yes yes that's a very bad attitude isn't it to begin with a lecture and you decide you are very adamant not to tell the proton concentration anyone who is most senior Carlos <laughs> yes Irene proton concentration Nakita you guess anything but don't tell me something which is found in the dead body yes she is going to tell us the proton concentration in body yes miss nakita please 7.2 7.2 what kilograms milligrams what <laughs> machine guns tanks tell me some units <laughs> yes 7.2 what or maybe candies she says proton concentration is 7.2 what anyone anyway whatever units she tell one thing is sure that she is wrong <laughs> yes anyone else who can tell me proton concentration Gavin please all right I think it's uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 7.4 I think you are trying to be <laughs> Einstein <laughs> right and you are not successful tell me a simple answer what is the con look if I asked you the concentration of sodium uh -huh. of course answer is very simple for example 140 milli equivalents per liter if I asked you the level of potassium in normal healthy person's blood it is 3.5 to 5.5 milli equivalents per liter if we talk about level of so and so forth and when I asked you what is the concentration of proton you start telling me funny things I'm not going to move forward until you don't tell me yes James yeah you will be called bond only in future look concentration of proton is very very low let me tell you how how much low is the concentration of protons protons or hydrogen ion in my lecture when I say proton it is meant hydrogen ions now that is so low equivalents per liter right I know you are trying to count if your eyesight are like me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then this so it is it is the normal concentration of hydrogen ions in normal healthy human beings extracellular fluid 
it's very very small is that right it is millionth of a part of the concentration of sodium 3.6 million times less than sodium concentration when we are talking about proton concentration we are dealing with very very small values right so this is equivalent per liter or you can translate it into this that hydrogen ion concentration is yes 40 nano equivalents per liter look nano nano not milli sodium is in milli equivalents potassium is in milli equivalents right you can talk about calcium in milli equivalents phosphates into milli equivalents but when we talk about the protons it is nano equivalents nano mean extremely small is that right when you if you by mistake you tell someone that my patient has a proton concentration of 40 milli equivalent it means you're talking about a dead body who has been given pumped with the acid because normal body cannot develop that high proton concentration so what i really wanted to tell in the very beginning that hydrogen ions are present in very very small amount in our extracellular fluid and that is just 40 nano equivalents per liter is that right or if you just talk about non nano equivalents you want to talk about equivalents then it's a very very small value now there was a person with the name of Sorensen he was born by someone in last century Mr. Sorensen he was born by a woman and he created this trouble of pH he said that it's very difficult to deal with such numbers which are so small and I think he must be good mathematician so he said let's talk about negative log of this value I don't know why this idea occurred to him but it occurred to him and we have to go by that he said hydrogen ion concentration in this value is very very small so let's take on both sides minus log first of all you just take log log of hydrogen ion concentration if both sides multiplied by log and you apply the log over this also oh my god one two three four five six what should come after six seven is there usually <laughs> right so this is the value he took the log of both when he resolved this log it became log of proton concentration he said became if you take the log of this value what will be this minus 7.4 is that right I think that person did not want to deal with the this minus value also he has special taste so he applied the negative on both sides he said don't take the log take the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration when you take the negative log of hydrogen ion concentration you have to apply negative to this thing also and it became 7.4 in this way he said minus log of hydrogen concentration in normal extracellular fluid is 7.4 then someone else came to him he was more fussy he said why you are always talking about negative log negative log right he said don't call negative log negative log is the power of hydrogen ion concentration rather than writing my negative log you just write power of hydrogen ion concentration so power of hydrogen ion concentration is 7.4 then there was someone else he said let's make it brief remove this thing so he said this is pH is 7.4 <laughs> and this is how you end up with the pH and without knowing what is the proton concentration in a normal fluid right so let me repeat it again it's worth because I don't know some people all their life keep on dealing with pH without knowing what they are doing right so I will repeat it again it's worth repeating from where the concept of 7.4 pH came right again we started the concept of pH that what is the normal concentrations of protons or hydrogen ions in healthy human being extracellular fluid so we said proton concentration now you will guide me I'm repeating is normally how much Two, three, four, five, six, seven. yes <laughs> now you start looking little bit charged what is this equivalence per liter 
Is that right? Equivalence per liter. This can also be said, a whole this value can be said 40 nano, nano equivalence per liter. Why I especially say nano? Because don't confuse it with milli equivalence. If proton concentration in your blood become milli equivalence, you won't be alive at least not in this world. Right? So this is the normal concentration of protons or hydrogen ions in our extracellular fluid. The same thing can be expressed in another way. As I told you, Mr. Sorensen was very, very good probably mathematician. If I was in his place, I will never do that. But anyway, what he did, he said it's a very small value. Let's talk in the log. So when he can apply, multiply both sides of the equation with the log, so log of hydrogen concentration or proton concentration, what he said? Negative 7.4. Then he multiplied both sides with negative. negative. So he said negative log of hydrogen ion concentration is when this side was multiplied by negative, negative into negative disappear. But in practical life it does not. Two negative are very dangerous. So what happened? In the end we end up that minus log of proton concentration or hydrogen concentration is 7.4. Then he said that this minus log is actually the power of hydrogen ion concentration. So we could use power of hydrogen ion concentration in extracellular fluid in a normal healthy person is 7.4. Then you remove this power, only leave the P. So P and hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 7.4 in a healthy person. This is how you get the, what is this? pH. Am I clear? Now, before I really go into detail, because normal pH is the negative log of hydrogen concentration. When hydrogen ion concentration goes up, pH will go yeah. down because it is negative log. When something is related negatively in the log, if one thing is going up, then other will go down. Is that right? Now, so what really, let me tell you how practically it happens. We go to this value. This was the normal hydrogen ion concentration, which is translated into 7.4. Now, if I increase hydrogen ion concentration 10 times, multiply it by 10. If I increase hydrogen ion concentration, how many times? 10 times. 10 times. Then one zero will disappear. And it will become not 7.4, it will become 6.4. You are understanding? Why? When we add protons to a solution, we say pH will start going down because when you are adding the proton, you are increasing the proton concentration in a solution. So actually this number of zero are getting more or less? They are getting less. So pH become less. Opposite to that, if in a solution, hydrogen ion concentration become one tenth. This is the normal value in any solution. And if hydrogen ion concentration become 10 times reduced, it means we will add one more zero. So it will become 8.4. And of course, when hydrogen ions have become less, it will become alkaline. So this concept is clear. Why adding of the addition of hydrogen to a hydrogen ions or protons to a solution make the solution acidic and pH will go down because number of zeros are reducing. Is that right? Now another thing which I, I will again stress. When we talk about the changes in pH, it means we are talking about changes in hydrogen ion concentration. When we are talking about changes in pH of any solution, let's suppose hypothetically, I have a solution in this container and this container has, let's suppose pH of this solution in this container is, suppose, 7, only 7. If I add, now you have to tell me, if I add protons into it, if I'm adding protons to it, its pH will go up or down? Yeah. It will go down. Let's suppose I have added so much protons into the solution, I've added so much protons into the solution that after the addition, pH has become dropped to 6.0. What do you think? Proton concentration has become double or more than double? It has become 10 times. 
I want to print something in your mind. Then there is a little change in pH. In fact, there is a big change in proton concentration. In pH way, we are talking about that from 7, it has become just 6. It has moved 1 point down. But actually, hydrogen ion concentration has increased 10 times. 10 times because we are dealing with the log values. Is that right? Then if I say that I start removing the protons out of the solution. I have not added. Rather, I start removing the protons out of the solution and protons become so deficient that after that pH become 8. What do you think? How much protons have been removed? 90% maybe. 90%. How much protons have been removed? For example, if there were, just for example, if there are 100 protons, right? 90% have been removed. So it means when pH fluctuates one unit up or down, there is a very big change in proton concentration because we are dealing with log values. Am I clear?